Megan here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I thought I would take you guys along with me as I make some herbal goodies for my seasonal herbalism community membership site. Now the summer solstice is coming up and every quarter on the solstices and the equinoxes, I put together a little surprise box full of herbal preparations that I think would be really helpful in the coming season. And so since June 21st, I believe it is, is the summer solstice. Um, I'm putting together about four herbal goodies in this box for the winter tier members of my membership site. If you wanna know more about my membership site, you can check out the link in the description box below. But for now, I thought I would take you guys along with me as I make these four items. So, as you can sort of see, my countertop here is just full of herbal goodness and some other types of supplies. I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you guys all this stuff in just a second. But first, let me tell you what we're gonna make. Okay, so in this quarter's box, the summer solstice box, I am including four different herbal preparations that I think would be really helpful and valuable for the summer months. Um, the first thing that I'm gonna put in is a buttercup flower essence. Now. In my membership site, I already showed a video tutorial on how to make flower essences. I used Buttercup, Buttercup when I was making um, the video, but you can use any flower to make this. You can go through the same steps with any flower to make a flower essence. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm not making the mother essence. That's what I did in the other video on the membership site. What I'm doing here and including in the summer solstice box is the actual bottle that you will take, the dosage bottle, or some people call it the stock bottle. So it'll be the actual flower essence that you use internally. Um, and the buttercup one is a great one to have for the spring and summer transition kind of period. So that's kind of what we're going for. So the next thing that I'm gonna include in the box is an antimicrobial salve. This has got a bunch of herbs in it that are really great for tissue regeneration and um, keeping bacteria from creating an infection in whether it's a bug bite or a scrape or a burn or any sort of wound. So that's very helpful for the summer months. I know my boys use salves a lot because they're always outside and playing and they seem to get cut and scraped and little bug bites and whatnot often in the summer. So I'm including that in this box. I'm also including a bug oil for your skin. This includes some essential oils that I think smell good together. It's an essential oil blend that I created using my Blending Essential Oils 101 blog post, which you can learn about in the description box below if you're interested in learning how to blend essential oils to make blends that are therapeutic but also smell good at the same time. So this blend I think smells good, but it keeps the bugs away because the bugs don't really like the oils, the scent of the oils that are in there. So that's the third thing that I'm including in the solstice box. Um, and then the very last thing is a mineral sunscreen that I love. It's one that I make every single year for my kids. Um, we use it and it works really well. I actually have that recipe over on my blog and I'll link to that blog post in the description box below as well. Um, so yeah, to recap those four things is the buttercup flower essence, the mineral sunscreen, the antimicrobial salve, and the bug oil that goes on the skin. So those are the four things we're going to make together tonight. Now, before I show you everything and we get going on making stuff, I wanna say that this is for my members that are in the winter tier of my seasonal herbalism community over on Patreon. So I, when I send this box out to them, I include this letter. It's a seasonal summer solstice letter. It'll give them the recipes for all of these like the actual recipes for all of the things that are in their box. It'll tell them a little bit about like seasonal living around the summer solstice and things like that. So as I'm doing this video, I'm not gonna be talking about the herbs or the oils or the essential oils or all the things that I'm putting in the recipe. I'll share a little bit, but most of that information is for the members in the seasonal herbalism community. So again, if you're interested in learning more about that, I would love for you to check it out. I have a link in the description box below. So just scroll down a little bit, um, click the link and you can read all about that membership and what it's like and the different level of tiers that you can join in and maybe something will be um, something that you're interested in. Okay, so I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you all of the stuff that I have out. Then we're gonna get going making all of this stuff. Okay, so as you can see, I have a lot of stuff out on my counters right now. Um, over here is recipes. 
some shea butter and some beeswax, essential oils. There's the buttercup mother essence. I've got some brandy to go along with that. Raw honey, cocoa powder, some mineral stuff for our sunscreen. This is an herbal infused oil. I'll tell you about later. There's some oils back there, a bunch of herbs, and of course my kitchen scale. And then right here I have a double boiler because I'm gonna use that when I make the antimicrobial sap. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna get started making is the infused herbal oil for my antimicrobial salve. This oil is going to be made on the stove top, so it's a little bit different than a traditional infused herbal oil. Um, I'm using a double boiler, and this is something that I bought, and you can buy them pre-made, or you can make your own double boiler if you want. You just need two pans, one that is smaller than uh, the bottom pan, like a top pan that's smaller than the bottom pan. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put water in the bottom pan and then I'm gonna put my herbs and my oil mixture in the top pan. And the water will boil in the bottom pan and it'll keep my oil and herbs nice and warm so that they can infuse. I'm gonna let them do that for about an hour on the stove top um, without letting them get too hot, which will damage the properties um, in the herbs. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my oil and my herbs here get my water going, and then I'm just gonna put this on low, kind of like a nice low simmer for about an hour, and then I'll move on to the other projects, and then I'll come back around to this after the oil and the herbs have infused for an hour. Okay, so as you can see, I've got about a couple of inches of water here in this bottom pan. And I'm gonna turn the heat on to about medium until this comes to a boil. Over here in this pan, I've added my oil and herbs, and I'm just gonna give that a little stir to kind of get those herbs wet and saturated with the oil. So you can see that mixture there. And this is just gonna sit here and infuse for a wee bit, like I said, about an hour. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to make is the bug oil. And while I would normally use a glass bottle like this with a little dropper top, since it makes it easy to apply the bug oil, you just squeeze the oil up in the dropper and then just kind of drop it on your skin and rub it in. Um, so normally I would use this, but I am actually going to use these bottles today because I have a bunch of these bottles left over. Um, these are just like a little flip top cap and then you can just kind of squirt the oil out on your hand or your skin or wherever But I have a bunch of these left over so instead of throwing them away I'm gonna use them so I'm not being wasteful and then I would switch to glass after that so I'm going to fill these up With oil and then I'm gonna put my essential oil blend I'm just gonna drop the amount of the blend into the oil and I'll close the lid and I'll give them a good shake And that is all you have to do. It's as simple as that. It's very easy. so good. I think they're really gonna like this. All right, so that's one thing down. Just need to put labels on them, but for now, I'm just gonna set them aside. And the next thing that I'm going to do is do the buttercup flower essence. And for this, I will use my glass jars. flower essences are finished they also need labels so I'm gonna put them back here with the bug oil and I'll get labels for those later and next I'm gonna move on to the mineral sunscreen and then when I'm done with that my infused herbal oil should be ready to go
so at this point I have my flower essence and my bug oil done. I have my oils, butters, and waxes melting on my little, I've got like a triple boiler going on right now. Um, that's for the sunscreen. And then, or I guess I should call it sun cream. I don't think we can actually say sunscreen. Anyway, sun cream. Um, and then I have my herbs and oils infusing for the salve. So while those things are infusing and melting, I'm going to go and grab my computer and I'm going to update my labels. I have a design that I made um, back when I did the spring equinox boxes that I will use for the summer solstice products as well. So I'm just gonna change the names, um, change the descriptions, make sure that my size and amounts and everything on my labels are correct. Um, and then I'm gonna print off some of those and try to get the right size and before I print off the actual labels. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that now while I'm waiting on all of this stuff to continue melting and infusing. stuff off my hands actually let me show you guys this is ours what this looks like so I'm gonna put just a little bit of this and I'm gonna rub it on my arm wow that's probably way too much okay so just rub that in really well all over your hands and the more you rub it the more those minerals kind of blend into your skin. Um, so as you can see, this side is a little bit lighter in color than this side here, my arms. I don't know if you guys can really see that because of the light in the kitchen. Anyway, the point is, it's a mineral sunscreen and the mineral minerals sit on top of your skin and they reflect the UV rays off of you instead of your skin absorbing them. And you'll want to like reapply this every one to two hours. It's, it does great while you're in the water too because of the beeswax that's in it. It kind of um, gives it a little bit of waterproofness, um, but I would definitely reapply it after I got out of the water. Anyway, um, every one to two hours, I would put a little bit on just like any other mineral sunscreen and it will make your skin just a little bit lighter in color. I don't know if you guys can really see that. The more you rub it in, the better that the minerals kind of like kind of get down into your pores or whatever. Um, it won't clog your pores up though because it washes right off with some soap. So if you go take a shower afterwards, it'll wash off. But anyway, if it's too light in color for your skin tone, you can always add more cocoa powder to it to darken it up. And that works really well for people who have darker skin. Um, and then that way you can kind of figure out how much cocoa powder you use in the recipe to work for you or your kid's skin tones. Anyway, I really like this recipe a lot. It's pretty simple to make, um, and it works really well. And yeah, keeps us from getting, it helps us to like get out in the sun and absorb some good vitamin D, get all those sun rays in without worrying about being unprotected and getting burnt. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm just taking a paper towel and I'm just wiping the edge of all of these jars here all right so if you can see kind of clean the edge up we'll put a cap on and it's all done just needs a label so I'm gonna stick this back with my other products back here that are finished and I have a mess in this kitchen I really need to clean up all right so my herbs have finished infusing in the oil so I'm just going to pour these through a strainer 
like through a fine mesh sieve, maybe a couple of layers of cheesecloth to get all of the herb particles separated from the oil. And then I will add in some of my other ingredients to make it into a salve. Sunday and I am preparing to ship out these summer solstice boxes for my seasonal herbalism community. Um, I'm trying to get rid of items that I had, like shipping items that I had uh, years ago when I had my Etsy shop, um, just so that I'm not being wasteful and I'm using everything up that I already have. I think I talked about this earlier when I was talking about the plastic bottles, like wanting to get away from those and go more glass. But um, I'm wrapping the glass bottles in some of this bubble wrap and I would like to shift to some sort of like cardboard stuff or just something that's a little bit more eco-friendly than all of the plastic. But again, I don't want to be wasteful so I'm trying to use all that up. So I have these boxes here that I'm going to put together. I have um, this like shredded paper. You guys can see that. I've got two different colors. I've got this light color and I've got a really dark like espresso chocolate kind of color um, that I will pack in the boxes and I'll pack all of the items around that. Like I said, the flower essence, because it's in a glass bottle, will be wrapped in the bubble wrap and nestled down inside of that paper just to give it a little bit more protection during shipping. Then I'll use my kitchen scale and I'll weigh the boxes and I'll do my labels on my computer um, and get that ready to go. I'm also printing off my little summer solstice newsletter kind of brochure thing that goes in. This was just a test print, so like I've got, it's not actually correct, but you can kind of see what it looks like right here. So these get folded up and they get put inside of the boxes and then a little thank you card also goes inside of the boxes. So I am going, you'll be hearing my printer printing um, and I'm just gonna kind of be busy in here trying to get all of this stuff packed up and ready to go so I can take it to the post office first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, so I want to show you a little bit more about these little newsletters that go in to each of the herbal surprise boxes. Um, again, I think I mentioned this earlier, but this is only for my winter tier members inside of the seasonal herbalism community. They get these surprise boxes every quarter. Um, but each quarter, I give a little like write up about um, something in relation to the season. Like, so right now this is about summer. Um, and then I include all of the recipes for the products that I have in the box. That way, if people, so this one has two on the back. So that way, if people like what's in their box, they have the actual recipe that they can make it again if they want to. Um, and then next year, come summer solstice box again, I'll make something different. It won't include these four things. And I wanted to tell you guys, these are like full-size products. So when I put these little surprise boxes together, they're not like tiny little sample size products. Like my winter tier is the highest level membership that you can get inside my membership community. And so I want, and it's, 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 I'm trying to think, it's about, I think $36 a month. So you pay that for three months and then you get a surprise box. So because that's a significant increase from the next level down, I want to be able to offer full-size products because I want people to be able to really use this over the summer months and see if they like it or not. So they're getting a lot of product for the money that they're paying for this tier membership.
Okay, so before I wrap up this video, now that I have all my boxes packed up and ready to go to the post office tomorrow, um, I wanted to quickly let you guys know that if you wanna get your hands on these products, um, this is the Cocoa Mint Sunscreen, this is the Herbal Aid Salve, this is the Buttercup Flower Essence, and then this is the Bug Off Body Oil. If you wanna get your hands on these products and you're not a member of my seasonal herbalism community, then you can check out my shop because I'll have any extras that I have for making all of these products listed in the shop. It's growingupherbal.com slash shop. And you can find these things individually or you can bundle them all together in your own herbal box and save a little bit of money. And those will be available until supplies run out, and then that's it, until the next fall equinox. That'll be the next time I create products for herbal surprise boxes. So, like I said, if you wanna get your hands on some of this stuff and try it out, I would love for you to do that, and you can do that at growingupherbal.com slash shop. I'll put the link in the description box below. Um, all right, so thank you guys so much for joining me in this week's video of making these herbal surprise boxes and a few other things that I got up to this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. Uh, make sure you click the bell to turn on notifications so you know when new videos are available. I put out videos once a week. Sometimes it's weekly vlogs, just things that my family and I get up to during the week. Sometimes they're herbal related. Sometimes they're about non-toxic healthy living. You'll just find all sorts of different herbalism and natural lifestyle content here on my Growing Up Herbal YouTube channel. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in the next video. Take care.